It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game, was popping. So, I had a dude hit me up, and he was saying, he was like, you know, he would go out and talk to girls, and certain girls would be receptive to his game, and but uh, he said it was a whole lot more that would kind of shit on him, or, you know, act stupid, or kind of sometimes even yell and scream, and, and, and like, get away from me, I don't want to talk to you, and leave me alone, and all that other stuff, right? So, he was asking me, you know, he was like, is there certain types of guys and he he actually included me in this because he said you know i know you do the dating coach stuff you know he was saying do you um you know are you that smooth with the ladies that you don't have to really deal with this that often you understand what i'm saying and he was like is there a way to where, to where you can uh you know have like 98 percent uh success rate or something like that where you know most of the time chicks are just receptive to what you're doing and what you're talking about you understand so the thing I was trying to tell him is that, you know, it doesn't matter how smooth or how much game you think you got and all this other shit, right? There are going to be certain girls who you're not going to get with, certain girls who are going to reject you, certain girls who are going to um, really um, not, it's not going to click. And the reason why is sometimes it has to do with the woman with her and not necessarily you and your game you understand so basically no matter how good your game is it makes no difference difference to you know this particular girl or it makes no difference of the outcome between you and this particular girl because this particular girl might have issues you understand what I'm saying this particular this particular girl might have certain uh, you know like she's crazy and shit you understand I'm not I'm not and I'm not saying that every time a girl rejects you that means that she's crazy every time a girl rejects me she's crazy because I mean come on come on but anyway I'm just joking but seriously what I really want to say here is this sometimes chicks have issues those issues will not allow you to get with them it's really that simple and it doesn't matter how good your game is let me give you an example Let's say you had a guy who was a, a race car driver, and he was like the best race car driver, I don't know, in the United States or some shit. You understand? He's the best. He wins all these races. He can drive fast, and he's just so good at race car driving, right? And the next thing you know, he does a race one day, and then he gets in a, into a car, and it something happens with a car is is uh you know something's fucked up with with it, the the engine or the the wheels are loose or something like that. And then he ends up losing the race or he ends up crashing. You understand? Now, this does not reflect on how good of a race car driver he is. The thing is that there was something wrong with the car, which is why he crashed, which is why he didn't win, which is why this other thing happened. You understand? So it didn't, it didn't matter how good he was. It was the fact that, you know, the car was fucked up. So sometimes is that, you know, it doesn't matter how cool or how smooth or how much game you have. There are girls you're going to run into who have issues. There are girls you're going to run into who they're so insecure that their issues take over, that insecurity takes over, and nothing's going to happen between you and her. There are certain things that happen to some women, you know, in the past where they either got, like, sexually assaulted or whatever it is that happened, and they still, you know, have feelings about it, or they, it's like ingrained, the fear is ingrained in them about what happened, and now they have this issue with dealing with men, and then you're a man, you come up, you talk, and then it, it just doesn't, you know, go down at that point. You understand what I'm saying? And a certain person, some certain people might say, well, if your game is really that good, it doesn't matter the issues she has because, you know, your game is so good that you're just going to, you know, spit that shit, and then she's going to, you know, want to wanna fuck with you because your game is just that good. You understand? And the thing is, you know, I tell people is that these women will have to deal with their shit first before anything can happen with you and her. Because sometimes the issues are so deep that there's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing that, 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 that you can say or do to change that. So the thing is, you know, don't take this shit personally. Do not feel like, you know, oh, damn, well, I need to learn some new techniques and I need to, you know, be become the best uh, guy at, at, at hollering at girls and then this stuff won't happen. It doesn't matter. It does not matter how good your game is. You're going to run into girls with issues and those issues are going to prevent you from fucking with some of these chicks.
So just understand that that's just part of the game. You got to just chalk it up to part of the game and you just keep it moving to chicks who are going to be receptive to your shit. You feel me? All right, so that's it. That's all I wanted to say for today. Make sure, guys, you click the link below or go straight to MrLocario.com and get your tickets for the Manhood and the Game Seminar, August 31st, NYC in Times Square. It's going to be me, Telly, and Royal Flyness kicking that hot fire, that hot game, all right? So come and see us, all right? I'm out of here. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace.